All right, guys, so I am back in the studio. I'm doing something a little different just to show you guys um, a little bit more of what I do in a day-to-day -day basis here in the studio. Yes, I do record guitars, bass, and we produce and all that stuff, but one of the things that I enjoy the most is um, mixing music. So today I'm gonna show you a um, small clip of a session uh, we are producing for an artist called Danivet Vargas. She's from Connecticut. We already finished the whole process. Now we're on the mixing stage. Um, I actually did like a draft of the mix, but I'm gonna show you guys at least um, drums, um, which is one of the things I enjoy the most to work. These drums right here, um, my friend Abner Cortez from Texas is the one who recorded the drums. One of the first things that I do is um, putting everything in groups or in bosses. Uh, normally Abner, he sends me um, two kicks, um, two snares. He got three toms in here and then overheads, rooms and, and hi-hats. So what I did, I put the drums in one group um, in a bus and then I put all the kicks in another bus and then routing, routing that bus into the drum bus so you guys know how it is um, and then that I only using triggers for the kick and the snare um, it sounds really good the the tracks that he sent me they sound really really good I just added a trigger to blend it with the uh, the ones that he sent me just to add some warmth. Right now, I'm using the triggers from um, Steven Slate. I'm gonna show you guys a little clip of the drums. This is a, like a CCM type of um, style. This is the drums um, already um, processed with everything. All right, that's how it sounds. I'm with everything in. One of the first thing that I do, um, I process the drum bus alone. Um, normally adding subtractive EQ, um, just cutting some lows, um, some mids. I added a tape machine, nothing too crazy. Then I added the uh, simulation of, of the emulation of uh, a Neve console adding some drive right here i'm running it into a pre a neef preamp as well just a little bit same thing just to give it a little bit more body um, one of my favorite plugins to use or um channel strips we can say it that way uh, this is from waves it's the ships um channel signal chain that's what i use some little eq because the, the drums sound really really good by itself and the other thing that I do in the drum bus is adding like a little room um, reverb just to add some room, some space to the drums in general. This is this is how it sounds before um, without the plugins. So it doesn't sound bad. It sounds really, really good. And then add in the plugins. So I just add a little bit more um, color to it. Um, it glues everything together. In the kick side of it, what I do, I put the three, um, in this case I have three channels of kick, kick, out, kick in, kick out, and the trigger. Um, so what I did, I put gates, obviously, and then what I do, I process the three of them in one, and then I all my processing is on the kick bus. So this is um, how the kick sounds. Right? And then this is without the plugins. It doesn't sound bad, I just added some warmth. Um, body that's what i did in the eq nothing too crazy i just cut the 540 like 7 dbs um, high cut nothing crazy again same channel same channel strip 
Um, in this case, I'm only using the EQ and compressor. I'm just adding some mids into the EQ and then the compressor, nothing crazy because it sounds really, really good. And then one of my favorite plugins for drums, actually for everything, this is from Universal Audio, the Pultec. The Pultec EQP1A EQ. Um, so in this case, and boosting 30 hertz um, boost of six, and then attenuating five. So you guys know the Pultec um, trick. So this is without, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. So I'm adding definitely low end to that kick and then high end. I'm boosting um, the uh, high on 5K and attenuating everything on 10K. So I have the boost on seven and a half and the attenuation on five and a half. So again, this is before. This is after. This is the drum without the trigger. It sounds good. It doesn't sound bad. Just adding the trigger. So the trigger is just adding some um, attack. This is just the trigger. Right? Nothing too crazy, but it sounds really, really good. Going to the snare. This is snare. Has some reverb already because the make the mix is already done, almost done. Again, I'm doing the same thing, EQing, um, just did like a little low pass in 100, 120. I cut this um, at 200 because it had like a little overtone. Again, using the Poltec, the snare, and boosting at 60. And then seven, the boost, attenuation at five. And the highs, I'm boosting at eight, 8K, and then I'm attenuating at 10. This is before, this after. This is a big, big difference. Again, this is with no plugins. Adding the EQ, adding the pull tag, and then adding the the same um, signal chain, signal chain that I normally use. For the snare, I do use saturation. Um, again, compressor, EQ, same thing. Snare. This is how it sounds without the trigger. Then the trigger, just adding some attack, some room to it. It sounds really, really good. The drums, they're really, really good recorded. So um, I didn't have to put a lot of effort into this. Um, the other thing that I do, the toms, he sent me three channels of toms, one rack tom and two floor toms. So what I did, I put everything in one bus. And again, this bus, the tom um, bus is routed into the drum bus. And then the drum bus is routed into the mix bus. Then I'm getting the, uh, the toms and then I'm processing everything uh, in one. So again, I'm gating everything. EQ, it's a little crazy here. Um, just added some attack right here. Same plugin, boosting at 60 Hertz again, and then boosting at 5K again. And in this case, I use the SSL and see um, channel strip just because for the toms, I don't like to do a lot of crazy processing. So I like to be a little more subtle. So that's what I like about the SSL. This is from Waves, by the way. The SSL is very subtle. It's, 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 it has a really nice tone, a really nice sound, but it's very subtle compared to a Poltec or compared to a Neve or something like that. Again, this is before. It sounds really good. And then this is after. Adding some attack, low end. And obviously the toms, there's no trigger here. It's only, again, triggers. I'm only using triggers on the kick and the snare. Again, on the 
overhead boss I do the same thing um, nothing too crazy there's the overhead EQ cutting some lows a little bit of mids in there and then SSL for compression you can see some highs some lows and I'm basically doing the same thing with the rooms same, same thing, same, same, same plugins. EQ and then SSL. So yeah, guys, that's basically how I do drums in here. I'm gonna try to share more tips um, about the stuff that I do here, so you guys can see it. Um, I know today I only focus on drums, or maybe another day I can do something and show you guys how I treat my guitars, the bass, the vocals, stuff like that. Alright, so hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.